everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another video review. And today's review is slightly different or something new to my channel. Um, if you have been used to watching my other mini bust reviews, you'll note that I tend to only collect General Giant mini bus. And I recently started getting into Bowen. I think I have an Iron Man and a Hellboy mini bust. Um, and recently DC Collectibles came out with this beautiful Wonder Woman mini bust designed by Jim Lee. And I just had to jump on it. I've been, you know, watching it on a few websites and in my comic shop, my local comic shop had one for sale and they had a clearance sale. And this ended up in, you know, in the discount sale area. So I just had to pick it up and I'm very happy I did. You know, it is a little bit different than the normal General Giant in terms of size and design and even character because General Giant does not do any DC superhero minibus. But I'm very happy that I did pick this up. Um, and let's jump right into checking out the minibus. So before I do that, actually, let's take a look at the box itself. Let me put that to the side. And the box, it's pretty similar to, you know, what we will normally get for any mini bust um, company or, you know, any mini bust out there. In the front, we do have the DC Collectibles logo up at the top. We have a picture of Wonder Woman. We can just kind of see the base right there at the bottom. But, you know, you really do just see the main body of her. Over to the right, we have DC Comics Superheroes Wonder Woman. On the top, we have the Wonder Woman logo. On the side, we have another shot of her, and at the top, it says hand sculpted cold cast porcelain, and it is repeated in French, I believe. On the back, we have two other mini busts. Um, this one is Deadshot and the Joker. I believe, I know Joker is also designed by Jim Lee. Um, I'm not too sure about Deadshot, but I wouldn't be surprised considering Wonder Woman and Joker are, so I'm assuming they just put all of Jim Lee's mini busts over here. And on this side of the box, we again have some more description. At the top, it says measures approximately 6.75 inches high. We have a full shot of the mini bust. And at the bottom, it says designed by Jim Lee, sculpted by Alejandro Pereira. And again, at the bottom, DC Collectibles with the address to their new location in Burbank. And at the bottom, you know, nothing much going on, just the regular bottom. So let's get that out of the way and back into the mini bust. So zooming in on the face, that is, you know, one thing that a lot of um, companies either hit, it's a hit or miss on a lot of times, and whether it's a realistic face or a comic face, um, you know, it's it's very inconsistent between companies, and whether you get a mini bust or a statue or a six scale figure or even a regular action figure, it can be hard to come across a nicely painted and nicely detailed face. And looking at this face, I'm pretty happy with this, pretty darn happy with this face. Um, of course, they didn't do a realistic approach or, you know, they didn't model it after Gal Gadot. This is a more comic inspired Wonder Woman and the entire mini bust is very comic. It has the very comic likeness to it and it's a very well designed, well painted and well created piece. As you can see up here, we have like the silver, um, uh, I guess it looks like dry brush, but silver and red um, tiara. I'm not, I'm not sure what they call their headband over there. We have Wonder Woman's hair, you know, flowing in different directions as she's ready to go into battle. Of course, with the whole pose, she has her shield and her sword ready. Looking at the skin tones too, they did a really good job painting it. It is, it has some inconsistencies here and there, but you know you can see the different the shadows and the lines to her um, chest and shoulders and the definition in her arms. They did a really good job capturing the again, like I said, the comic book likeness of Wonder Woman. Turning it around, you know, seeing her hair, we do have the nice sculpted lines and the waves in her hair as opposed to you know just painting different lines and different directions to go and that's a really good thing that I see from DC as well that they have actually sculpted a lot of the features or a lot of the directions and body poses that are going into um, their minibus. So one thing that I'm really, I just noticed actually, I had opened this a few weeks ago but taking a closer look at it, zooming in on the arm, I'm not sure what exactly happened here. But as you can see, if I can get that clear, you see the armband around her um, bicep over here with the Wonder Woman logo. But I'm not sure if it's just paint or the way it was sculpted on. 
but it, you can see that little darker area it almost looks like they sculpted out this the arm part and then put this around it and it was sculpted a little too big or dug out too big but you can you can see it all around and it's just it's pretty disappointing considering you know the rest of the mini bust is pretty well made so I'm not quite sure what went on over here of course it's not something you really do notice upon first um, when you first look at it or if you have it at a certain angle like in here oh, let me get that back in focus but you know it's still something that when you do notice it you can't really ignore it so anyway looking down at the wrists on both sides we do have her um, uh, wrist bracelets I'm totally forgetting I know they have a name but totally blanking out on those um, nothing much going on just a silver a simple silver coloring to it the sword as well doesn't have too much and this arm actually does come out because it was detached in the package so it is held on by magnets just put that in there and essentially you could pose this different ways with the sword I kind of like it with the sword kind of sticking out but I do like it you know closer to her body as well giving it that more almost defensive look um, and ready to strike given the shield pointing out in front of her as well so moving that out of the way just looking on the interior we do see her nails are painted as well so no detail was missed and we just have like a almost like a bronze kind of gold um, ends over here and then attached to the blade we have the brownish leather handle and moving on to her torso Everything here is sculpted, so you know it's not just painted lines on here, which is really cool. And the paint as well is really well done. Let me get that into focus. And it's, you know, it really is just a simple design and simple paint job. But, you know, of course what we see in the arm, even simple can be messed up a little bit. Even looking right here on the thigh, or the hip I should say, um, it's just not, you know, it just really missed the mark on on a few points um, and going here it looks like the paint did come up from the skin onto the um, outfit so you know just a few points here and there and on the back you can see that as well looking at the inner shield right there we have are these rope no these are plastic as well so they are all sculpted um, I'm not sure I'm sure they I don't believe this is all one piece so, you know they just attach the shield to it as well and here we have more of the little paint discoloration or you know error if you want to call it over there looking at the shield the shield is absolutely beautiful you know you have like a medusa head on it and you have the beautiful bronze around the edge um, a little bit more bronze and gold in the middle with the forehead the lips and the eyes you see all the snake and everything is sculpted too so it has a beautiful texture to it beautiful look to it and it's the very, I guess, rustic or, you know, worn out style. So you won't be seeing any glossiness or any shine to it. It's the very luster look to it, which is really cool. And there aren't any really battle damage marks. It's just a dirty or weathered look to it, which is really cool. Now, moving down to the base, again, like I said, this is pretty different than what I'm used to seeing. Um, as opposed to it being a whole base, or, you know, a solid base this one is elevated so you do have more flow going through it um it doesn't really shine a negative light and it's you know it's not really positive it's just something different to look and of course with the bust itself being pretty small if you had a ginormous base on it of course you know you wouldn't have it this large maybe smaller to the bottom but this does elevate the bust itself higher above the ground and on the front we do see the wonder woman logo on the bottom nothing much just the soft material to put it on your display and then manufactured in china for dc comics so i know earlier it said that the bust on the package is 6.75 inches tall so just getting the ruler out here for a second it's about you know i don't i don't know who measured it but this bust is about not even 6.5 inches. Let me look at the package again, make, make sure I did not read that wrong. Yeah, 6.75. This is about 6.5 at the most. And then the body itself is maybe about 4.5, 4.75. 
So it is slightly shorter than you expect, you know, not much of a difference considering it is a mini bust, not a full scale bust or even a half scale bust. But you know, nonetheless, it is a really good size but mini bust. It is a beautiful mini bust overall. A few of the points just missed the mark with the paint and the style of the sculpt. But overall, I'm really happy to add more Wonder Woman pieces in my collection and I'm happy to expand my DC Collectibles collection as well, or in general, my DC Comics collection. Um, so that's about it. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments about it. And make sure to subscribe and follow all my pages. Thank you all.